Right. Hello, it's Kathy Ryan in Bundaberg, Queensland. Take two. I just uh, poured in one of these little boxes and uh, did the whole video thing and went to get it out of the camera and only to realise that I hadn't turned the camera on. So here we are, starting again. So messy fingers. Uh, this paint is underneath the glad wrap cling wrap whatever you want to call it that's what this is and this is the box um, Chantel's treasure trove box I'm going to make it pretty I hope so I'm going to try and use some nice bright colors we'll have uh, a bit of a reverse dip at least on the lid we'll see how it turns out I really have only done one or two of these uh, a while back now and uh, whilst I don't manage to get the beautiful flowers that some of the people online do I haven't really been all that disappointed so to see how that is and it's nice bright yellow the recipe for my pouring medium and all of these paints and their names you'll find in uh, the comments there underneath show more just click on that and that'll take you to that information and I think that's pretty much it. And uh, we'll have a couple of little sprigs of green. Some purple. Some gold. We're going to have a treasure. Whoops, that was a bit much. I'm going to take some of that off, I think. Goodness. Alright. Oh. Might just deepen the top of this a bit. Give this a shake. Or pour. Come on, yeah, that's it. I'm just uh, wetting this off with some pouring medium. I don't want too much paint on. We'll see how this goes. I think this will work. I've done this before and been quite happy with it probably embarrass myself with this one all right so down press and slowly lift you never know what you're going to get when you do this So it's always quite exciting. Let go. Oh yes, that's quite pretty. Just leave him there to rest a little bit, and perhaps some more red here. Purple. I think there's enough green there. 
I'm not a green person. The tulips. all my yellow. I don't want it running off just yet. Right. So I've done those two. Or this one. So there's the four sides. One, two, three, four. Might just see if that wants to come down as a bit thick. Right. And I've covered the box. Just checking the corners. So he can just stand there for a second and I might just put a bit of red, purple, some gold. And get, get this corner here. See how that one goes. A little bit of a wiggle here and there. Probably the closest to flowers I've uh, managed here anyway. <laughs> so I shouldn't be saying anything untoward, should I? Look, just lay some colour over the corners there. this colour I might just do this around the edge in the corners cells uh, but I can see air bubbles so I am going to torch 
and uh, I've got the edges as you can see covered and I'll just put something over that. There's a piece of paper in here. There they are. Right. She says that she promptly plunks her fingers on there. And this bloke. Those sides are very pretty, so wipe my hands off and get the gun. allow this to dry and then I'll come back and when it's dry you won't notice the time it'll only be in a second for you and do the insides of the box by that time I will have decided what to do that's a nice red that's a nice bright red so and of course that might need doing okay so please just you won't even have time. I was going to say make a cup of coffee, but you won't have time. <laughs> I'll be back lickety split. Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good uh, whatever you're having. I have decided to paint the interior of um, my box just with straight red. I did the bottom off, can, uh, off camera. You can see how wonderful this gold is. Where's a nice piece here on the lid? I don't, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but how the gold shines, it's, it's really pretty. That's the Semco gold. All right, so I'll just, um, what I'm going to do is just paint the insides here. Then I'll let it dry and I'll bring you back to see uh, the finished box as soon when it's after I've dried it. It's only a matter of rolling this paint around a little bit. It's a nice red. I've got a lozenger. Um, So down in the links you'll find the link to my Facebook group which is Australia Art Dreaming. You're more than welcome to come and join us. I'd love to have you. I might wipe my hands. And uh, just click on that and come across. We have a lot of fun. There's also a link there to my Fine Arts America. And you can have a look at that. That's uh, really nice there. They have some wonderful things on that site. And I would like you to give this video the thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Really would like some more subbies. 
and you can ring on the little bell and that will notify you when I put up more videos and there are quite a few on the way at the moment. Come on out you come, don't be shy. Just let that drip out a little bit and uh, give it a hand. Just probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Take up the slack, come on. Right. That's quite pretty in there. If that dries, it'll... This box has turned out so very pretty. The other one that's outside drying that I did last night, that's a nice one too. It's a lot bigger than this one. But they should both be dry together so I'll be able to show you that as well. Won't take long today to dry. It's a little overcast today here, but it's um, not cold, and there's a bit of a wind, so <clears throat> get in. Okay, now. Getting rid of that little mark. That's good. See if any of that paint wants to dribble out. Some of it does. one done. Just let this have a little roll around, get my fingers out of it. If I use a brush doing this, you end up with brush strokes. So I'd rather be um, a little bit patient and cover it this way to avoid the brush strokes. It's just about got it. Down in this one little corner here now. Bring it 
back, see if that'll work. And it is. Alright, so that was the end of that. As I said before, please come join our Facebook group at Australia Art Dreaming or uh, have a look at the Amer uh, Fine Arts America. And uh, I'll bring you down to have a quick look in there. Please give this video the thumbs up. Uh, there's not a lot in there to see. But as soon as it's dry, I will come back and show you the finished product. Okay, I won't be long. So here is the finished little box. Um, as you can see, nice and dry, lovely bright colours, and if I can get the lid off, I'll have to do it this way. Uh, lovely vivid red inside. But, uh, it's a really nice little gift box. Uh, that one will be put aside for um, a birthday or... Perhaps Christmas, it does look Christmassy, doesn't it? Yes. Very happy with that. That's my very first little artifact thing that I've ever painted. And then off camera, I did this bigger one last night and he's also dry, but I haven't done the inside. That's only cardboard inside. And the bottom half is a gold and orange. I mixed orange and gold together. You can see they sparkle. And, uh, then I just dabbed it with a cloth to get that um, stucco type of look. Um, this is the top. Once again, I think that'll make a nice gift box. So that, that's the boxes done. Chantel's treasure trove. I uh, really hope you enjoyed this and by all means, it's nearly Christmas now, so if you're going to do some of these, go right ahead. I'm going to do some more, I just know. All right, well, thank you very much for watching. Please give this video the thumbs up. I do appreciate that. Bye.